What's going on, y'all? It's Area 5150. I've been noticing a lot of YouTube videos about jerseys and them being real or fake. So, I think I ought to help you guys out a little bit. Everybody already know how you can tell an NFL jersey is fake because they determine, you know, they'll be a whole lot heavier. You know, they'll have a whole lot better stitching and everything to it. And when you squeeze on the numbers, they'll pop back as if you didn't touch them at all. That's a real law. It's a real NFL authentic. And it's like you're holding a 500-pound sweater. Not really. I'm just over-exaggerating. Now, since I already know my Eli Manning jersey I have is, isn't an authentic. I'm getting them for Christmas, though. I do have one authentic that I'm proud of. It's an L.A. Laker Shannon Brown NBA Finals jersey. I actually determined it, looked at it all, did the measurements. And I do have an authentic jersey on my hands, and I'm proud of it. So I'd like to share it with you. All right, so here it is, Shannon Brown. Check out the stitching. Yep, it's all there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, looks pretty detailed. As you can see, like the polyester fabric. In case you guys didn't know, this jersey is not going to be pretty heavy weighted because because I looked at my research and then Adidas which is the same brand as this jersey, made a deal with the NBA. They gave them more lighter, less fabric jerseys, you know, so the players can move around. I wish they didn't make this move, then it would be a whole lot easier to determine rather than just the details. But, you know, it's the sport that we watch. So the players deserve the better quality. You give them better quality, and that's how they use it. Now, I was looking up a couple of things. They're saying that the NBA authentic sign the letter should be very thin. And as you see here, you know, let me bring some light up to it. These letters are pretty thin. Let me back it up a little bit. Yeah, that's thin. You can read everything pretty clear. This is all Phoenix. Yeah. And they also say that the size should be the same height as the NBA sign. So I'm just going to level it right here. And from the way these things look, they're pretty leveled, you know. Going from right here all the way across, then go down and go all the way across without moving. Yep, they're pretty much in the same same size area, and I'm liking it. And then now it goes on to the to like the quality of the jersey. As you see, you know, there's really nothing wrong with the leathers. It's like if I got this from China. I think we should give the Chinese people a lot of credit because this is pretty flawless. But I didn't get it from China. I actually got it from NBA.com. You know, I actually got a friend who has connect with NBA.com. So, yeah, she did give me the real deal, you know, because he really looks deep into his jerseys and all the Knicks and everything. I actually got this one only for, I think, like about 66 bucks, or maybe not even that, 55 at the most. Yeah, it was 55 bucks. And that's how I was. Yep. So now I'm going to get you guys a little bit closer to the numbers. As you see, you know, Shannon Brown is number 12. You see how, like, as you see, you know, look at the quality of the numbers. They're pretty good. It's pretty sharp. It's kind of like HD for a jersey. Then we go on to the purple. An actual Laker one, you see. Bring that back. Then we go over here. It looks basically flawless. Then as we go up to the famous final sign, you see it, you know. I'm bringing it real close to show you, like, all the stitching and everything and how close it all looks, you know. See, it's not even like a smudge. Actually, one right there because I wore Donny Park a couple of times. So, you know, it's actually taken a while for me to get used to it. I I've never I haven't washed this thing since I bought it because... I'm sending it to the cleaners. I'm not ruining this jersey. As you can see, you see the final stitch. But the thing I like to point out about the final stitch is that, let's just say, like, this NBA sign, this thing, you can tell, like, when the player goes to the finals, they stitch this over the NBA patch. Because this isn't their regular patch that's on the jersey. As you see, my finger's right here on the NBA sign. Watch me turn it over. 
see that? Compared to where my finger is at, NBA sign on the front ends down here. This is the original sign that was on that jersey. Now, unless you're completely brain dead, you would take that off just so you can have a regular plain one. But I me, mean, I like to keep up with the times and say, yeah, my team went to the finals. I have proof. Really don't find too many people with a finals jersey who wear it out in public like I do. Now, just going to flip the jersey inside out to show you the detail of the stitching. As you can see. You know, just to show you how everything looks on the other end. This is all coming from different different things that I saw, you know. As you can see, check this out. You know, I know it looks like a little bit of dirty dirt right here because I was playing manhunt one time. No one told me about wearing all black that day. I really wasn't even trying to play that day, so I kind of flipped my jersey inside out and toughened it out a little bit, but it's all going to get fixed up at the cleaners. Now, look at this. As you see, some people said that some of the Chinese jerseys, you know, they'll just, like, take one, they'll just take, like, the regular B, a purple B, a white B, underneath it. Sorry for that, just received a message. They'll put it underneath it the regular one. Then they'll put a purple bee over it rather than doing the stitching work. See? But as you see here, this wasn't this isn't the case here. This is actually stitched white with a purple bee. Yep. So they just stitched around it. That's all they did. As you can see. Man, it looks even better got it spun around. And you see like the regular logo, you know, NBA Optinics. Yep. Yeah, see how clear it looks and how clean it is, you know. It looks like it's not even like, from the way it looks on my phone, it looks like it's from a video game, kind of. That's like top quality right there, you know. And then we have the Big 12, you know. And as you can see. They, like when I told you about the purple bee and the white bee, how they used to put one on top of the other and stitch it through. Again, here again, this is not the case. They didn't they didn't half-ass it. They actually put in work for this jersey. You see, that's the actual nature of the jersey. On the other side would be the one. So they stitched the one on top of it, the purple one. Then they just gave it a white outline. You see? Yep. And then you see the 12. And you see how sharp it is. Yep. See? Looks pretty well. Yep. Well, now I'll turn it around. Hopefully this side didn't get as much, you know, damage as it did when I played Manhunt. I actually lost that game too, you know. <laughs> Next time I'll get them back. But yeah, as you see, Laker logo looks pretty well. Really authentic. On the Laker, on the 76 is authentic I have, it seems like because it was so embroidered in the front that all this was there. Anyway, that's my LA Laker Authentic. I hope this helped you out some in the future when you go buy yourself a jersey. If you get a Laker one, just pop this video in. Or just click on it. Or subscribe to my to my page and you'll get it. Take care.